Hey guys, what's up? Kim here. Thank you so much for checking out my video. So today I wanted to do something a little fancier than a normal pearl pour and do kind of a half and half. So I have half uh, white pour over paint and half black pour over paint. And I'll show you guys the color palette that I'm working with today. So I have my uh, deco art. This is the textured metallics uh, deep turquoise, I believe it is. And this one is the Extreme Sheen Aquamarine. And for this half of the painting, I'm using the Artisoft Flow Acrylic White. Because um, basically my idea for this painting was to do kind of the night sky over the ocean. And uh, I'll just tell you, this ends up being a very abstract night sky over an abstract ocean. But it's cool. Um, so the second set of colors for the night sky, I have the DecoArt Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. This is the DecoArt Americana Amethyst. And the last color I have is the Extreme Sheen Pink Tourmaline. And I'll show you guys, uh, this is basically the rough um, texture, texture, uh, rough consistency, sorry. My brain is still, still not here. It's never here, but it's not here. Um, so the basic consistency of my metallics, um, if you're interested in how I mix them, you can check out my tutorial. I'll link that. And that's the pour over paint for my um, night sky portion, just the acrylic flow um, in black. So my idea for this one was to kind of do two separate puddles. So the um, blue and then next to it, I put the um, night sky colors. And I kind of started off to the side here because I was nervous if I put it right smack dab in the middle that when I was tilting it, it was kind of just going to run into each other and become a muddy mess. So I started um, toward the side so I could just kind of tilt one way and then push it all the other way so it's not, you know, running back and forth against each other. So I'm just going to do my blues on this side and then do a separate puddle of my night sky colors next to it. And um, it didn't turn out exactly how I didn't envisioned, which um, honestly, most of my paintings don't. I honestly think the paint has a mind of its own most of the time. So I just kind of go with it. But um, it's still, uh, I think, a pretty interesting piece nonetheless. So also, if you guys have a good name for this piece, I, I don't have a good name for it. Um, leave it in the comments below and that'd be really cool to see. And, uh, yeah. And this is a 16 by 20 canvas, if anyone was wondering. So, I'm just gonna put my colors down, do my pour over color, and tilt it. So, I will go ahead and put the rest of this to music. Again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the thumbs up for me. And even better, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Super, super appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Just take care.
that you guys weren't expecting to hear my voice again, but here it is. So this is the close-up. This is probably about 30 minutes after. You can kind of see that the edges have already dried there. And uh, yeah, you can see that uh, that line of metallics right down the middle there just uh, stayed there because I didn't really keep the... Uh, I had the two pour-over paints separate, so it's actually kind of cool. Um, I probably needed a little more paint for this canvas. Um, I don't think I've done a 16 by 20 pearl pour before, so it's always a little bit of math for me to figure out how much paint I need. But overall, I think it turned out pretty cool. Uh, I actually really like that line in the middle. I think it's a pretty good uh, focus point. But stay tuned for the dry results coming up in a minute. Thanks for watching.